It's raining. It's raining. Hooray. We are going herping in Florida today. We are in Southern Florida where we have planned uh, several days to go herping because we didn't find much on our cruise. So we're gonna stay in the area and try to find some reptiles on the road. I don't know how long we're gonna stay out tonight. Yeah, it's like really raining and we've seen lots of lightning. Yeah, really close. So I'm kind of worried about even standing here, but we found something already. Yeah, look, we already found something. The rain has made the toads come out. Oh, look at him, he's so cute. He's adorable. Aww. Can you turn the other, oh geez, don't, don't jump on the ground. <laughs> come here. Everyone wants to say hi. Look at you. This is a southern toad. They're a medium sized toad. A very generic. Dude, <laughs> they're very good at jumping. Maybe we'll just hang down here. Okay, okay. okay. Uh, medium sized toad. They eat a lot of bugs. They spend most of the days in burrows or hiding under leaves, and they come out mostly at night, especially during rainfall, as you can see here. That was lightning. That was really close. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know what? We're just going to let him go. Oh, he's there just going to go about his merry way. You're going to stop hopping now? He's like, okay, now you can see me up close. There he goes. Goodbye, and Toad. And he's gone. Goodbye, Toad. <laughs> There's Toads everywhere. Yeah, there is. Oh, no, and a mosquito. Where'd it go? Ah, ah. He's right there. <laughs> there it was on you, I swear. Yeah, sure. <laughs> oh, you already got one of us. What do we have over here? That's a stick. Oh, it's a corn snake. A corn snake? Oh my gosh, that is a corn snake. I think it's a corn. Yeah. Aww. Hi, corn snake. No, come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. No. <laughs> Hi. First corn snake of the trip. Oh my gosh. A wild corn snake or red rat snake, depending on how you see it. They're the same thing. But this is beautiful. Look at that pattern. Okay, so a lot of you guys have these in your homes as pets. And look, this is their wild counterpart here in Florida. It's actually kind of surprising to see one out at night because they're a diurnal species. They're usually out and active during the day. Yeah, look at those eyeballs. Yeah, round pupils, diurnal, usually is the case, or that's usually the trick you can go by with reptiles. Uh, but on very hot days in Florida, the diurnal species will actually hunker down and they come out instead at night when it's cooler and more of a tolerable um, temperature for them. But unlike the water snakes that we've been seeing so far tonight and water moccasins, these aren't fish eaters. The corn snakes or red rat snakes that name should imply, these eat mammals. They eat a lot of mice and voles, moles, really whatever mammal they can find that's of an appropriate size. Look at him staring right at the yeah. camera. So this one's big enough, we should be able to tell if it's a male or a female. <gasps> it's a female. Oh, cool. Oh, okay, so the way we can tell is this is the cloaca. You can tell because these scales kind of change in how they look. They have a solid scute all the way down the belly and two split scutes on the tail. And in between, we have a cloaca here. So the tail actually tapers relatively quick quickly and it's a pretty short tail, which indicates that this is a female. Cool. If it was a male, it would have a very thick tail before it starts tapering out. All right, little lady. One last fact before we let her back into the wilderness is that this is called the corn snake, not because they eat corn, which is why some people think they're called the corn snake, but instead because their belly scutes resemble maize or Indian corn. Look at that beautiful checkered kind of random digitized pattern. It does kind of look like maize. All right, thank you little girl yeah. for letting us learn You're about you. You're such a you. good girl, such a good model. I understand why they're pets now. Oh my like god. If you can pull that out of the wild and it's like that. So friendly. <laughs> not trying to bite, not tail buzzing. Yeah, she's nicer than some of the surrendered corn snakes we get in Adoption yeah, Island. A lot of the surrendered corn snakes we get yeah. in Adoption Island. They're so nice. You should tell your captive bred cousins to be as nice as you. Alright, All right. let's leave her so we can get in the car again. Alright. <laughs> Here you go, little girl. This is where you were headed. And you're free. Oh, right into the weeds. To the contrary of that first corn snake, this one seems like he's a little, uh... You're a little jerk! Yeah. Hello! Oh, no, you're just trying to get away. Look at this! Oh. Another corn snake! You're gonna get must done. I probably will. It'll be worth it. Oh, calm down. Calm down. <laughs> fine. Hello, we just want to marvel at your beauty. Wow! Ooh. That is... You can tell it's more of an adult than the other one. The colors have started to fade slightly. Yeah, this one's definitely more brown than red like that previous one. Are you yeah. a male or a female? All right, so the way we can tell this is a male, to just point it out since we just had a female, Cloaca's up here. See how much thicker that tail is? Yeah. So much further down and how long that tail is? It's a long tail. Yeah. You're this, a bigger boy. This is a big boy. 
Dude, you're so cool looking. Yeah. Oh, oh, don't whip the camera. You're so floppy too. Yeah. Oh my gosh, come calm down. You're doing when, that backwards slip. When thing. Emily came out to get it, because we we've been having bad luck where we just don't stop the car fast enough, I let Emily out and I went and grabbed everything, came out yeah. and it was biting at her. So. Oh yeah, he was striking yeah. at my foot. <laughs> yeah, so this guy's got a bit of sass, but that is okay. Uh, yeah, they're they're great snakes. They go through kind of an ontogenetic color change, in which which means that the babies, as soon as they hatch from their eggs, are actually kind of grayscale. They're kind of a gray coloration, and then they grow into these beautiful mm. colors. And this is your standard colored corn snake. Like this is what they look like in the wild. Yep. Obviously, this isn't a morph or anything. Uh, the other one we saw was particularly red. It was really pretty. Yeah. But this is more of what you see in the wild. Exactly. Do, okay. Okay, so they're a rat snake, so they have the white lip. Yeah, yeah, we can point that out. So the term rat snake basically means a snake, a, a colubra that has a white lower jaw. Yep. So they all have that white jaw. Fox snakes have it. Um, black, black rats, black rats do. yellow rats, Everglade rats, which are the same thing, I guess. Yeah, they're all getting, all the rat snakes are, I think, getting reclassified again. I could be wrong. They keep switching between the Alaffy and uh, Pantherophus genus. But I believe currently the corn snake here is... Uh, Pantherophus gutatus is its no. scientific name, but I could be wrong. They seem to change it every day. Yep. Regardless, this is an awesome snake. Yeah, and big he was, male. He was actually headed in this direction before I spooked him and Ed grabbed the camera, so yep. we're gonna put him back over here. But he's like, no, I really want to go back the other way now. No, trust me, this is the way you were going. Nope, don't cross the road again. Go that way. Yeah. Go in the wild. There you go. Go out to the wild. Bye! I think we have something. Right here, right here, right here, right here, right here. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> no, 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 no. Oh, he's under the car. All right, garter snake, where'd you go? I don't want to hit you. Oh, I see him. Come here. Oh, where'd you go? Oh, there's a water moccasin. Whoa. Well, that's cool. Double snake. Was he just on the road? <laughs> I guess. <laughs> okay. Well, that's kind of fun. Yeah. Hello. You're beautiful. I'm going to leave you alone, though, because okay. we're trying to find this garter snake. Yes, and he's going off into the wild. Anyway. <laughs> we're passing up. A water moccasin to catch a garter snake. I love it. But where did he go? No, 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 no. Come here. Come here. All right. We got him. Oh, look at you. You're going to be a musky little turd. I'm going to smell so bad after this. There you are. Oh, wait a second. You're not a garter snake. This is this is a ribbon snake. Oh, oh cool. That's awesome. Okay, so the ribbon snakes in this area, that must be mean this is the eastern ribbon snake, otherwise known as the peninsula ribbon snake. So that's awesome. Here's a new species. This is a lifer for both of us. Yeah. So these look pretty similar to garter snakes, which is why I thought it was one, to be honest. But how you tell these apart from the garters is, I mean, first off, ribbon snakes are very slender bodied snakes. They're extremely thin. Their head is not much wider than their neck, to be honest. So because of that body shape and their slim heads, that's a good indicator that this is a ribbon snake. Also, if you look close at this one's eyes, the ribbon snakes, all ribbon snakes, have a white scale just in front of their eyes that garter snakes don't have. Now these guys are the peninsula. Oh wait, look at his other eye. Whoa, what's wrong with your eyeball, dude? Weird. Oh no. He has some sort of an eye infection yeah. going on. Yeah. Aw, poor little dude. It doesn't seem to be bothering him though. Yeah. Nope, doesn't seem to bother him at all. It looks like he's being He's finding food just yeah. fine. He he's actually... got a belly full of food. Yeah, there's a bunch of little toads around us. Yeah, he's been eating heating his fill of toads. Yeah, so this is actually an adult, believe it or not. They don't get very long. They stay around a foot and a half to two feet long, maybe. So this is actually a full-grown adult ribbon snake here. Now these guys are diurnal species, but he probably came out at night because it was such a warm day today, so it was just more of a comfortable temperature for him at this time. But usually when you spot one of these, their first instinct is to flee. They want to get away, and because of their slender aerodynamic shape, they can get away very quickly. These are fast snakes when they want to be. I'm actually quite surprised that we managed to catch him, to be yeah. honest. He decided to go towards your feet. <laughs> he did, yeah, that was pretty cute. He landed on my shoe, so maybe he wanted to be in the video. But yeah, these are beautiful little snakes. They're not the best snakes in captivity because they're so fast, they need a lot of room to roam, and they don't eat very well in captivity. So this is one that's best to leave in the wild. Honestly, everything you see in the wild should stay in the wild, but ribbon snakes shouldn't even be yeah. brought into captivity, to be honest. They are cool, though. They are really, really cool. Well, should we let him go? Sure. He was crossing this way. Okay. Don't injure your other eye, please. Yeah. There you go. What are you? Oh, it's a garter snake. An actual
Oh, no, 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 you don't. No, you don't. No, you don't. Come here. Uh, that's a big garbage wow. dust everywhere. Oh, I already smell bad. It's okay. Eh, come here. Wow. <laughs> Look at that. That's wow, he's gorgeous. Pretty. Yeah, that you blue? are. Blue? Wow, wow yeah. Gorgeous. You are kind of a blue color. Oh, you're so stinky. All right, we have calmed down a little bit. We're not freaking out as much as yeah. we were before. So God, he's pretty. This is gorgeous. Look how blue he is. I think that's why in, like, in captivity, breeders will call them the Florida blue. Oh, yeah, I think you're right. Yeah. yeah. The Florida blue garter, that makes sense There's now. just Duh. an eastern or common garter, but it's that's the Florida it blue variety. Yeah. Wow, he's gorgeous. He is stunning. And he, she? Oh, yep, a boy. Definitely he. Yeah. Wow, you're gorgeous, dude. Wow, so since we just had a ribbon snake out, this is the perfect opportunity to show the differences, like right here, right now. So the first thing you probably noticed is this is a thicker, bulkier snake compared yes. to the ribbon snake, which is really just a ribbon. It's essentially a ribbon. They're just thin little noodles. This is a bit thicker. Their head is also a little bit blockier. The plains garter snake has an even more pronounced head and thinner neck behind it, but the common garter snake here, gar garter snakes in general, still have more of a pronounced head than ribbon snakes. They also lack the white spot in front of their eye. He has a faint white spot, but there's mostly definitely... Blue. It's mostly blue. It's definitely more pronounced as a white spot in front of the eye in the ribbon snakes. Um, you can also see some different patterning to him. He does have a stripe down his back, that dorsal stripe. However, he has some cool checkered patterns on the side. He has a lot more spots, a, little, a lot of background noise compared to that smooth, sleek look that the ribbon snake had. So yeah, quite a few differences there. Garter snakes, as opposed to ribbon snakes, actually are better pets. Not that you'd ever want to take something home from the wild, but garter snakes, as you guys know if you watch the channel make really good pets. They are voracious eaters. These eat frogs and toads and fish and rodents. They're not picky eaters like ribbon snakes are. But yeah, here we are. Eastern garter snake or yep. Florida blue garter snake. I'm surprised they're not like broken into subcategories considering the common garters can look red up by us, blue down here. Yeah, they're Just all the so species. many different colors. Black out west. Yeah. Yeah, there's so much variety, yet they're all classified as the same species. Yeah. Thamnophis sertalis. So, anyway, we're going to let this beautiful boy go. Go find the ladies. Yes, go find all the ladies oh, and were... reproduce. Go free. Mainly stay off the road. That's a dead snake. Yeah, it is. That's it's a big. recently dead snake. Let's go see what it is. Aww. All right, guys, we can't show you that one. That was a very gravid water snake that was about to give birth. And she got hit by a car, and the babies were still alive, but they were definitely not going to make it. So She was still alive. She was still alive. She literally vertebrae open, mm -hmm. and babies coming out the wrong side. But she was still tongue flicking. But she was still tongue flicking. So Ed just had to... Use the car and put her out of her misery, which is something you never want to do, but she was suffering. So, mm -hmm. PSA, if you see a snake, like for adults, if you see a snake that is obviously not going to survive, but it's still hanging in there, but it is, you know it's in pain because it was hit by a car and it was in that bad of shape. Uh, the DNR has told us the best thing to do is to hit it again with your car. Hit it in the head. Hit it in the head because they're, they're just suffering. So, you don't, you never want to do it, but... It's for the better of the snakes. So unfortunately, a lot of people don't like snakes, so they will swerve on purpose to hit them. And they think it's a game. Snakes, turtles, just mostly snakes, but really anything that's considered creepy. So that's why we are here to teach you about snakes, yep. to have an appreciation for them, to help conserve them in the wild so that stuff like this doesn't happen. That was really sad. Uh, but on the plus side, there's a baby water snake, I think, outside the car yeah. right now. So let's let's we'll focus on that. that. Oh, you are wet. Why are you wet? Oh, come here, come here. No, stop it, stop it. I don't want to step on you. Okay, yeah, you hurt, but... Oh, no, come here! Ah! Got it. Nice, good catch. Thank you. This he's... is a beautiful little ribbon snake. What were you going to say? He's wet because the, the grass is all dewy. Oh, yeah, he's trying to musk on me. Yeah, this one's upsetty. <laughs> a very upsetty spaghetti yes, here he is. in my hand. 
But yeah, I mean, since we have another ribbon snake out, you can really see after having just looked at that uh, garter snake, how thin bodied this species is and how they have just a cleaner, more sleek look. Yeah, to they their... don't have the the checkerboards, basically. Yeah, they're really pretty, just very clean looking. Yeah. Oh, wow. And do you have both eyes? There's one eye and there's, and there's the other, the other eye. eye. Oh, perfect. All right. Both eyes. Hooray. And then key characteristic, the white scale in front of the eyes. Yep. We've got it. Also white lips. That's kind of, uh, they have more bold white lips in my opinion, but it could just be the contrast between the darker color on their body and the, the white lips. So yeah. Anyway, yeah. Another we already covered them. Yeah, uh, you were going... That way. That way. All right, little dude, go about your life. Go eat some toads. Remember that little southern toad we saw at the beginning of this video? Here's an adult! Yeah, Big monstrous. Massive! Look at these cool little knobbly things too. Yeah. So these are actually the best way to tell the difference between southern toads, which are native, and cane toads, which are highly invasive and non-native. They're not a good toad to have in Florida, but the southern's here yeah. with the knobs. Cane They're toads. They're supposed to be here. They are. Cane toads just simply don't have the knobs. They have yeah. some other different features too, but if you see knobs on the head, it is a southern toad. Those leave are, them alone. Leave them alone. They're good to have yes, around. Yes, they are awesome to have around, and they're monsters. Look at them. Look at that monster. She is huge. Is it a she? I bet it is with that size. That's true. Wow. All right, another snake. Got another one. Oh, oh, whoa, that's oh, different. Cool. Is, it, is, that a, is that a king snake? It, you know, I thought it was at first, but- Is it alive? Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. okay. Just, this, just chilling on the road, warming up. This is, this is a scarlet snake, guys. Oh, cool. This is a brand new snake to us. Oh, this is a yeah, we haven't bird. found those before. No. Okay, so this snake looks similar to two other species native to the area. It looks like the coral snake, which is incredibly venomous. But coral snakes, although they're also small, have a black face. And this one, as you can see, has a red, red face. face. And it also looks like the scarlet king snake, which does have a red face. But the way to tell them apart is the scarlet king has bands that encircle the entire body like rings. The scarlet mm. snake has bands that stop at the belly and don't go all the way around. So between the red face and the blotches and These guys bands, also have a more pointed snout. Oh yeah, and they have a really pointy red nose. Oh my gosh, I can't believe this. We found a scarlet snake. I've always wanted to find one of yeah. these. I really, we've, truly I have. think this is the third trip we've come down here looking for them. Trying to find scarlet like, snakes. I think we just kind of went, eh, we're not gonna find them. Scarlet snakes are known for being super friendly snakes. They're incredibly docile straight from the wild. And they don't try to musk on you. They don't tail rattle. They don't try to bite okay. or strike. Then with their amazing color and their amazing attitude, why aren't they pets? Because of what they eat. Ah, of course, okay. the cool snake, snakes, the unique snakes have weird eating habits. These eat almost exclusively reptile eggs. Oh. What a specialized eater these are. And they will sometimes eat reptiles or amphibians as well, but they really prefer to eat eggs of reptiles. So they're cold-blooded eater. Yeah, yeah, pretty much. They eat cold-blooded things. But reptile eggs are so easy to come by. You can get them everywhere. Oh, yeah, easy. So it's, <laughs> it'd be easy to feed one of these in yeah. captivity, of course. Uh, don't get one of these. No. Uh, I don't think anyone breeds them. I don't know if they've ever been bred before. They probably have. They also are a very small species of snake. Like, this guy is a sub-adult, honestly. Might he, be an adult. He might be an adult, really. Yeah, he's so tiny. I get, he has a little bit of growing still to do, but he's definitely not a baby, which is surprising. They also look really, really smooth. Like, I don't see any keels on him. He is so smooth. Like, Aww. he feels like plastic. He's so smooth. Ow. Wow. This is so cool. We found a scarlet snake. Can't believe we saw a scarlet snake. That yeah. was super cool. He might end our video today. He might. Wow. All right. Let's let him go. All right. Yeah. So Let's. Nice. They're just as nice as the stories say. <laughs> He's so friendly. What were you gonna say? I was just saying, let's get him off the road because yeah. they won't. They don't. He doesn't move a whole lot. There you go. Yeah, they're very slow, aren't they? Yeah. What a good snake. Go eat some reptile eggs. Yeah. Go find those anole eggs. All right. So you know how we mentioned that we were gonna end the video on that scarlet snake? Well, we just found another one. 
Oh my gosh, two Scarlet Snakes yeah. on the same trip. This is so cool. But I think since we're having such great oh, luck, this one is not sure what to think right now. Yeah, this one's not as happy as the other one was. No, he's not. He's not trying to bite those still and not tail rattling or anything. These are just nice, nice snakes. And they feel so smooth, I can't get yeah. over it. So we are going to do a part two for this herping trip. We're going to have a whole separate video with all new species. Well, ho hopefully if we find them. <laughs> That's assuming we find them, that yeah. is. But for today's video, we're going to stop it here. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you learned something new about the species that we found yeah. today, including our lifer scarlet snake. Sorry, dude, you're not our lifer. Yeah, you're not our lifer. You're not as cool as that one was. Yeah, you're still pretty cool, but you're not the first. So anyway, thank you Patreon backers for your amazing support that made this trip possible. And we'll see you next time. Okay, right, let's should, keep herping. Should we put that one back over there? Oh yeah, I guess I can't bring him with me. Yeah, you can't take him home. Sorry, here, you go out there. Yeah, stay off the road. And we're gonna find more snakes.